it's time for our workout. Let's talk about safety first. Remember, whenever we exercise, we need to focus on safety. We need to find a good place where there's nothing in the way that we could get hurt on. We need to wear athletic shoes and we need to get a good warm up. Today, I'm walking a few laps around my house and going up and down some stairs for my warm up. I'm going to do two leg exercises with you today. One is a squat with a leg lift and one is squat jumps. I'm gonna set my timer for 40 seconds and start my squat with a leg lift. You squat down and you lift one leg up. Squat down, lift the other leg up. Remember that when you're doing squats, you make sure to stick your bottom out behind you and you do not let your knees go in front of your toes. You want to squeeze the muscles on the sides of your legs when you do this exercise. Okay. Squats are really good for the muscular strength and endurance in your legs. We're gonna take a rest for a second here. You can feel your heartbeat. Notice that it gets a little bit higher. Take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Let's get started on the next one. For squat jumps, we're going to put our feet hip width apart, sit down nice and slowly, and then jump at the top of the squat. Okay, I did 20 in 40 seconds today. I might set a goal to get 25 in 40 seconds the next time I do it. As you're taking a rest this time, feel your heartbeat. It's even a little bit higher. Take some deep breaths in and out. Feel your heartbeat start to slow down a little bit. You can check it by feeling it on your chest or you can take two fingers and wrap them around your wrist and press right here. Good work. This exercise is for your core muscles. It's really good for your abdominal muscles and I call it the friendly twister because my friends, fish and duck, are here to help me today. I also have a tennis ball. I'm going to put one on each side of me and hold the ball. You can also use some leaves for this if you don't have any animals today. We're going to take one item, twist, pick up the other item, twist, pick up the other item, and twist. Setting my timer for 40 seconds. Here we go. When you do this exercise, you want to make sure that you're holding your back nice and straight, keeping your spine in alignment, not arching your back or hunching over. And there we go. 
When you're done doing your workout, it's important to do some cool down exercises and some stretches. One of my favorite ones is the leg swing. Find your balance, stand on one leg. Start by just holding one leg out until you're really steady and then do a little bit of a swing. If that's easy for you, swing it a little higher. Make sure that you don't arch your back too much. And then try it with the other foot.